Hey guys, it's Heather, and today I'm going to open my Rocks box and my BoxyCharm base box. For some reason, the word box is sounding odd to me this morning. You know how sometimes you just hear a word and it doesn't sound right, and the word box is sounding weird to me today. I don't know. Got up this morning got my workout in, had my smoothie. I was in the middle of doing my hair. My husband bought uh, some new helmets, some really light helmets. Since we're not really on a motorcycle anymore, we're on a Vanderhall, but in Georgia, you still have to wear a helmet. And he wanted me to try it on. I said, you know what? Let me film first before I go sticking a helmet on my head. So I am gonna get, kill two birds with one stone and I'm gonna open up both of these boxes today. This is the BoxyCharm base. I just opened the BoxyCharm Premium last week and I have the Rocks box. Um, but I've just, I've, I've actually had it sitting up here for about a week, I think. So, um, I am wearing full jewelry today, kind of a combination of different boxes and things that I've gotten. I've got my little, still have the wish bracelet on and y'all probably don't know exactly what the wish is in this. And I'm not going to tell you, you think, you know, but you don't know. Somebody knows. Then I think I got this one from my Glamour Jewelry Box. Um, these I got from, these are those gold ones I got from my Rocks Box last week. I know some of you say that they kind of get lost in my hair. I'm okay with that. I just see a little sparkle here and there. And that when I wear gold, I like it to be just a little bit. And I, I want to say that this came from either, um, I'm so bad at remembering what boxes came from stuff. You guys have asked me on multiple occasions where I got certain shirts. Sometimes I'm able to find it in my history if I have an idea of where it is. This either came from Glamour Jewelry Box or Julie Box. I believe. <laughs> anyway, I was just feeling a little bit of gold today. I think though I get a little bit of color on my skin, the gold looks better, I guess. All right, let's start with my Roxy, my Rocks box. Roxy box. There we go. I've, just, I've literally just combined the two. All right, Rocks box is $21 a month. Your $21 that you pay goes towards anything that you decide to purchase in your box. You don't have to purchase anything. Um, you, If you buy all three, you get discounts. Um, sometimes you get credits if somebody uses your, your referral code and purchases something or signs up for Rocks box with your code. Um, I don't think I have a, a any kind of a credit right now other than my $21 monthly credit. Um, I have a member discount of $6. It looks like everything I got this time was silver. It's funny how I just kind of change. You do get a care card. And one of the things I love is that in here, in this little box is a return on mailer and you just stick it right back in the same envelope. There's an extra sticky on here and you throw it back in the mailbox and you're not having to throw anything away. And I really like that. Here's my little bundle. I see two pieces from Kendra Scott and one from Slate. Here's my return sticker. Let's see what we have. So it looks like my retail price subtotal is $186. Member discount is $16. Buy all three discount is $10. So I guess I've already used my $21. I did with these and the these I've not had a chance to wear yet. That was my last Rocks box. Let's take a gander here. You know what? I think I bought two things to go together. This is the first thing. This is the Kendra Scott Macrame Elton Cuff in Silver and Ivory Mother of Pearl. This is $78. Let me pull it in close. That is gorgeous. Let me just pull this cuff off real quick. And you know me, silver is my thing. That's really pretty. That is really pretty. So let's just wear that for a second and go on to the next item. That was, like I said, $78. And with... Um, Kendra Scott pieces, you don't get the, like a member discount. So, I mean, the only thing I would do is the buy all, if I were to buy all three, then I would get a discount. These are the Kendra Scott Cynthia Drops in Silver and White Howlite. I don't, there we go. There we go. You can see it better now. They actually kind of go good with this dress. This, I mean, this shirt. This came from Stitch Fix Shop Your Look. Yes, I'm still on there. And I'm wearing a pair of shorts from there too. And they're six inch with a rolled cuff and I love them. Maybe I'll show you in a second. All right, let's take out, I'm wearing the gold today. That's what I'm feeling today is the gold. And I very rarely feel gold. So let's take the one that doesn't have the price tag on it because I can never get them back on with the little price tag wrapped around the, um, what you call it? The back of the earring. 
Okay, those are pretty. Let me turn on my light here. Those are pretty, but I'm not wowed by them, and they are $68. So, all right, I'm going to put the little back right here. I'm going to leave that earring in, and we'll go to the next piece. This is by Slate. They are the Aiden Hoops and Silver. And then for some reason I've been filling hoops. I got a really pair, a really thick pair from Nordstrom a while back. I wore them in a video the other day. Okay. These are not thick. These are only $34. But they are kind of big. So let's just, I'm going to take this out. Because this is probably going to be a no. Put the little back on it so I don't lose it. All right. I'm going to assume it goes in this way. I bought this mirror next to me here for this reason. When I think about the fact that we shove metal pieces through our ears, it kind of, oh, those are neat. They're really, really light. Other than the fact I can feel it on my neck here, I can't really even tell that they're there. I like them. And I think that my hair, since my hair is getting a little bit longer and I plan on, oh, I just turned it off. I plan on trying to get it. Ooh, it just turned it yellow. I forget how this works. There's like a... I forget how this works. Do you see I've like turned yellow? Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're blue. Yellow again. Now the white, but not very bright. The pier is the... <laughs> there we go. Um, but I plan on, I want, I'd like to get it to about right here. I'm, I don't think really long hair on me would look good anymore. I think I'm of an age where for my shape and my body that it's, you know, the long to my waist is, and I don't even know that I can get it to here. So, um, it has grown. You can tell by my roots since we've been in quarantine that I haven't gone and I, I don't plan on going right now. I just, I'm okay with this for some reason. So, um, I think with a little bit of a longer hair, I can pull off a larger hoop now. I really like these hoops. I really, I'm gonna take this one out real quick. I really, really, really like the hoops. I think I like the hoops more than anything else on that's came in here. And they're the least expensive. They're $34, but I won't get any discounts. Let's see. You know, I'm keeping these hoops. I really like them. I think I'm going to send back the bracelet, even though it's super pretty. I have quite a few chunky silver bracelets and I just don't need another one. And the price is a bit high. And I'm going to send back the little Kendra Scott Cynthia drops in white howlite. I think they're pretty, but it's not something I need right now. And these feel a little different than anything else I've got. They're, they will now be the biggest hoops I own. So yeah, they are the biggest hoops I own. But I like the fact that they're like two different sizes. I can't I can't see the hole in the, these little rubber backs to get it back. There we go. I don't want to lose a little rubber the little rubber backs. But you see how it's like two different sizes. It's really narrow up here and then it gets a little thicker here. So I feel like it's not as overwhelming of a hoop. If it was all this size, it probably would let's see. There we go with the big. I guess you could wear them like that too. I like them done like this. I'm keeping these. All right, let me get my earrings back on since I know I am wearing gold today. I purposely picked out gold everything today because I wanted something different. I really like those. Those are unique in my opinion. I was feeling gold. So my total will be, I think I'm gonna still get the $6 off. Um, so it'll be $28 for those. And I can get them back into the mail today. We actually talked this morning about going camping this weekend, but we can't find a spot that will take a 45 foot um, RV that is not over 200 miles away. So I think he's looking for um, one that with, you know, like sometime in the next couple of weeks, I can't remember which bag this came out of. I guess they're all the same size. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to take the RV out for its maiden voyage before we go too far away. Um, schedules, you know, work, you know, real work where we pay the bills. That changed a little bit after we bought the RV. So that was not helpful. And then, you know, lockdown was not 
exactly helpful in camping either. So, but we're ready to get out there and do something and hopefully we'll be able to do it in the next couple of weeks. And of course, I'll vlog a little bit while we do that. I've not been vlogging lately because honestly, I don't know what else to talk about. I mean, the things that we're doing around the house, I mean, I, we did do some gardening. I planted my vegetables, although I found out that you have to have a, you have to be able to determine the difference between a male and a female when it comes to squash. And I can't tell the difference. So I think I may go back up to Lowe's and see if I can um, have them explain to me what to look for. Something about swollen stems, but the two I have look the same. So I either have two females or two males, I'm assuming. Maybe buy a couple more and hopefully get a whatever I don't have. Because they need to pollinate each other. And that's because the bees are not um, as populous anymore. And that stinks. All right, I'm going to put this to the side. And let's take a look at my base box boxy charm. You know, in the premium box, there were a couple of items in there that I was excited about, especially that little lip balm with the little flower on top. Um, I've already used that, and it smells so good. But I feel like things, oh, and I, I did not have that eyeshadow palette, and I decided to keep that one. So, so those are the two things that I kept, I was most excited about in the premium box. I just, I, I, let's see, let's see what's in this box. I really don't like having to hunt for, let me just try it real quick. BoxyCharm. I don't like having to hunt for what's in the boxes. Um, my Lux is being customized. I don't even see that I got an email for what's in this box. So I, to me, that is a problem when you can't, when you don't, when you, you can see the products, but then you can't tell anybody what you're, what am I trying to say here? The estimated retail value of them, I mean, you are paying your money, and I do pay for these. You're paying money out of the out every month. You wanna make sure that you're getting your money's worth. So anyway, there's no card in here. We have a Black Lash Primer, Jet Black Volume by Blink. I'm not gonna open this up to look at the brush because the second I open this up, it starts to age. And I've been using um, pretty, something it was another one that i got in a sample and i've been using it on my upper lids it has a thicker brush i love the formula the brush this morning i had to clean up my eyelid i got a little bit on my eyelid and then i'm using my little thin brush from thrive because i love that on my bottom lashes so i'll put this aside for when that pretty whatever it is that i've been using is gone or dried up all right well here's an hourglass so this is the highlighting stick the flash Wow, it's like mirrored and I can't see the words against the reflection. Flash highlighter stick, illuminator. It's called Vanish. Let's take a look and see. Pretty little tube. Now I know that um, Hourglass is an expensive brand. And it's triangular. And I think I'm going to like that. So I'm actually going to swatch this. Ooh, yeah. Those iconic drops that I got a while back, I've been using those. And just, I don't know if you can see it, just right here on my upper cheekbones, just to make the sun reflect off of my face a little bit better. Um, but I think this will be a fun one too. So that one yeah, I'm excited about, yay. All right, I'm gonna get it all over me now. Next we have by Wander Beauty. It is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And I like Wander Beauty. I do have a couple of their mascaras. I have a foundation that I just started using actually. Um, this is an illuminating, or a, yeah, an illuminating face oil. So got those glasses back on again. Um, how to use, gently squeeze tube to release two to three drops of glow ahead, illuminating face oil under fingertips, massage into skin until firmly, uh, to fully absorbed. So do you use this? Okay, it's got, it says minimum effort, maximum result, black currant seed oil, and niacinamide. Bring out skin's inner radiance with our illuminating oil. Light diffusing optics deliver instant luminosity while a patent blend of our signature beauty oils and antioxidants help brighten, moisturize, and improve the appearance of skin over time. Um, it sounds wonderful. It also sounds like something that my daughter might love. I know she's been talking about wanting to, you know, 
brighten up her face a little bit. I think I'm going to pass this along to her. Okay. Dominique Cosmetics. I have had nothing from Dominique Cosmetics, so... Does it even say what it is? Something by something strawberry lemonade. It doesn't tell me what it is. I'm gonna assume it's some sort of a lip product. It absolutely is. I guess. Can anybody read the bottoms of these? Can anybody? I mean, not only is it so tiny, and I have my glasses on, these are the correct prescription for my eyes. But in this case, I think I can make out the words strawberry lemonade, but it is a color on color, tone on tone. They're not meant for you to read that. Let's smell it. it smells like vanilla. All right, it's a lip gloss, obviously, so I'm gonna put it right next to this highlighter so that will be good just for a, I mean there's not a lot of color payoff there just a little gloss so that's nice all right and then last but not least beauty creations Cali cheek Cali chic Cali chick um, it tells me the ingredients and it is not tested on animals. Ooh, okay. It is an eyeshadow palette. Those are very pretty colors. This looks like it'll be, a, ooh, the little plastic came off. This top piece looks like it'll be a good all over shade, not quite a brow bone sh shade. Um, there's Venice, Malibu, Marina, Tan Lines. Tan Lines is a really, okay, I can't keep that little plastic piece on. That one is Tan Lines right there. That's gorgeous. S uh, Boardwalk, Sail, Sunset, Beach Babe, and Laguna. Problem is, is I think I have, um, dupes of these colors. So this one is going to go in my giveaway. So that's it for my BoxyCharm, my base BoxyCharm. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it's $25. I, I would say I have, this, this right here probably covered that. So I, I would say I have $25 worth of product here. Um, this, I mean, it's just a gloss. I'll just throw it on. Maybe I'll even put that next to my seat in the living room when my lips get dry. I have a chapstick in there now. But I think this is my favorite thing in the box. I think this will be something that Emily can really benefit from because she's been talking about it. I know this, um, th those for Sally, I've got some of those too. I'm going to have her try uh, one that I've used. So, but this item here is going to go into my 3000 subscriber giveaway. I am just under a hundred, uh, just over a hundred subscribers away from that. So, um, I think this time I'm going to do three winners, one for each thousand. So that's my plan when I hit 3,000 subscribers. So it shouldn't be too, too long, right? All right, guys, thanks for spending some time with me today. Oh, I was going to show you these shorts. Let me take you over here. These I got in the Shop Your Look as well. Let me see. If you guys know that I'm not super big on showing my legs, let me pull this over. But they're kind of, these are by Cut From The Cloth. They are long enough that I'm, anyway, they're, there i don't remember the, the name of them i'll have to look but I, I got this was just a very casual outfit that i got on the shop your look i thought these would be great for summertime they cover the areas of my legs that i wanted to cover um, i like the color of them and i think that was a six inch inseam with the cuff already rolled so i was pretty happy with that but and of course there's a couple more items coming from shop your look on stitch fix okay Let's sit back down so I don't drop the camera. And I hope you guys are having a happy day. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. You're probably gonna see this after Memorial Day weekend. Um, I hope you're safe. I hope you're finding some happy in your day. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. I do unboxings, I do all kinds of videos, some vlogging. Um, when I get to camp, I do camping, get ready with me's, organization. Um, just, you know, whatever I feel like doing for the day. I'm thinking about doing a perfume collection declutter. 
Um, but the problem is, is I don't know what to do with all of the, the uh, perfumes. You know, you buy them and then you either like them for that for a while or you, you know, you end up having the bottles that sit there and you don't use. I've given some to my daughters, um, but I've got quite a few others that I just don't know what to do with at this point. So maybe I can find some takers. Maybe I can find somebody local that want them, but I don't know. But I was thinking about doing a perfume collection to clutter. Let me know that that's something that you're interested in before I sit down to do that. But have a happy weekend, stay safe, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.